Hello, my name is Dave Statz and I'm with Johnson Level and Tool. Today we're demonstrating the outdoor applications for the Johnson 40-6535 electronic self-leveling laser. This is by far one of our most popular exterior lasers because of the 2,000 foot range that this laser has and the accuracy of a sixteenth of an inch at a hundred feet. Some important accessories to have while you are working outdoors with the laser is a tripod. This is a stand that the tripod will mount to, and this is what anchors itself into the ground. Also is a gray rod and a detector. Now this detector receiver will, will be what sees the laser beam forming outside to help us determine elevations on the job site. Simply turn the laser on by pushing the power button, and the laser will electronically self-level itself. Once it's level, it will start rotating and sending out a signal that I can capture on my detector. Now on most job sites, there's already a known point of elevation that a surveyor has transferred out to the job site. But if there's no known point of elevation on the job site, you can establish your own benchmark just by going to the same reference point and establishing what your height of instrument is. Turn your detector on and move your detector until you receive a signal from the laser. A down signal will tell me that I have to move the detector down. An up signal will tell me if I have to move the detector up. When the detector is on grade or level with the laser beam, it gives me a solid tone. Now I know that my laser is set up at 4 foot 4 and 7 eighths inches. Now determine elevations on a job site, if I would move to a different elevation, And once again, move that detector until I get a signal from the laser beam. I now know that my new elevation is 3 feet 4 inches. By knowing the different elevations between my benchmark and my new point, I now know that I am approximately two feet higher in this position than I was at my benchmark. This is important for grading purposes to make sure that the water runs away from the house. So you need to know the different elevations from your benchmark and from your different points at a job site. Because all job sites have different terrains and different elevations. So whether you're digging a basement or digging footers, or adding dirt to create slopes so the water flows away from the house. That's why it's important to know what these different elevations are for.